हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल नास्टिक अगर आप लोगों ने अभी तक मेरा चैनल सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो जल्दी से जाइए और सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और हाँ बेल आइकन प्रेस करना ना भूलिएगा जैसे कि मैंने आप लोगों को पहले वीडियो में बताया था प्रॉफिट लॉस का फॉर्मूला जिसके अंदर मैंने आप लोगों को बताया था उसे कैसे डिनोट करते हैं सी पी एस पी कॉस्ट प्राइस सेलिंग प्राइस प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस के बारे में ओके फ्रेंड्स तो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल And you are selling this bag, let's say to your friend B, at one twenty rupees. So this is your selling price. So there is this another concept called profit and loss. So you got it for hundred rupees. Your cost price is hundred rupees, and your selling price is one twenty rupees. So you are selling it at twenty rupees profit. Twenty rupees you are giving it as extra. So Your profit is nothing but selling price minus cost price. This is nothing but one twenty rupees minus hundred rupees, which is twenty rupees. So this in case if you are selling it at one twenty rupees, let's say you bought the bag for hundred rupees, but you are selling it for eighty rupees. You got it for hundred rupees, but you are selling it for eighty rupees, which is twenty rupees less than your cost price. So which is nothing but a loss for you. So how do you find it out? Cost price minus selling price, which is nothing but hundred minus eighty, which is twenty. So this is your loss value and this is your profit value. So there are other questions they ask about is the loss percentage and profit percentage. So how do you find the profit percentage for this question? Profit percentage is nothing but your profit amount by CP into hundred. So what is your profit amount? Twenty. So what is your cost price, which is hundred into hundred? This is nothing but twenty percent is your profit. Let's say we are going to find the loss percent. So loss percent is nothing but loss by CP into hundred, which is equal to how much is the loss? Twenty rupees is the loss divided by the cost price into hundred, which is nothing but twenty percent. So a lot of people get confused. Why do we always have a cost price here instead of selling price? Cost price will always be constant because you are paying this amount to your retailer to get that value. So your cost price will always remain constant, whether you are selling it in profit or loss. That depends. So we always have the cost price in the uh, denominator to find the profit percent and the loss percent. So let's get started with another type of problem, which is at what and then what problem. So the next type of problem is at what and then what. So un to understand this better, let's take an another example. Let's take the same bag example. So we are getting the bag at hundred rupees, and we are selling it at one twenty rupees. We know that profit is twenty rupees. So we know the profit percent is nothing but twenty by hundred into hundred, which is twenty percent. So this this is a similar type of problem we will face in a lot of attitude exam. How do they ask it? They will say that. So we are. I am selling a bag at one twenty rupees, and I am attaining a profit of twenty percent. So at what cost price would I have got the bag? So how to solve this without using any big pro, uh, formulas or something? So we know that selling price is nothing but one twenty rupees. So before going into that, let's understand this. Let's take we are getting a bag for hundred rupees. Then if I am going to sell it at another hundred rupees. It means that I don't neither I have a profit or a loss, which means I'm selling it at hundred percent of the cost price. So hundred percent of cost price is nothing but the hundred rupees. So I don't have a profit or a loss. Let's take the cost price is hundred, but I'm selling it as one twenty. So one twenty is nothing but we know that is twenty percent profit, which is nothing but we are selling it at one thirty percent of the cost price. So that's why we get twenty percent of profit. Let's take it with hundred rupees, and I'm selling it as eighty rupees. Then it means that I'm selling it as twenty percent loss, which is nothing but eighty percent of the cost price only I'm selling. That's why I'm incurring a loss of twenty percent. So similar thing is only we got to apply it here.
we will solve a couple of problems. So let's get started with the question. So what is they asking in the question? A man incurs 10% loss by selling a bag at 540 rupees. At what price? If it was sold at rupees 275, what is the percentage of loss or profit? As usual, let's start with the first part of the question. They are saying that shoe was sold at 330 rupees with a profit of 10%. So profit percentage is 10% and selling price is nothing but 330 rupees. So as usual, you want to find the cost price. So cost price is nothing but 330 divided by. So if they are saying at 10% profit, it means that we have sold it at 110% of the cost price. So 110 will come here, which is nothing but 330 by 1.1 1 .1, which is equal to 300. So your cost price is 300 rupees. So what are they asking in the next part? If it was sold at 275, what is the percentage of loss or profit? So we know that the cost price is 300 rupees and the selling price they have given it as 275 rupees. So we know that, we can see that cost price is higher than the selling price. So we know that it's obviously a profit. So 300 minus 275 which is equal to 25 rupees. But check, are they asking the profit? No, they are asking the profit percentage. So profit percentage is nothing but profit by CP into 100. So profit is 25 rupees divided by CP is 300 into 100. So, 25 by 3 percentage is your profit percentage. अगर आप लोगों को मेरी वीडियो पसंद आई होगी, तो जरूर सब्सक्राइब, लाइक, शेयर जरूर कीजिएगा और यूँ हमें प्यार दीजिएगा. Thank you so much.